The A-10 Warthog is one of the most popular pieces of aircraft in the entire U.S. Air Force. Even many who have not served can still recognize it by its characteristic appearance. In 2014, it became the subject of public discussion, not only among those on the internet, but at the official level as well. A proposition was made to remove the Warthog from service, as well as curtail programs for its modernization and the extension of its service life. As a result, both the military and politicians concluded to leave the attack aircraft in the Air Force's arsenal until at least 2030-2035-ish. And so now the attack aircraft awaits a large-scale modernization, something which we'll be telling you all about today. History and Characteristics The A-10 Thunderbolt was designed during the Cold War, primarily to take part in one prospective battle that would decide who controlled Europe should the USSR attack. It was expected that when the Soviets made a massive attack on the FRG along the Volta Gap, the A-10s would help reduce the enemy tank armadas into a mere pile of scrap metal. The A-10's primary weapon is the world's largest air gun, the GAU-8 Avenger, with a rotating block of barrels firing 30mm rounds. It is capable of firing 70 30mm armor-piercing or high-explosive fragmentation shells in just one second, each weighing just over one pound. Even a short burst is enough to destroy several tanks at once if enough ammunition hits the roof, where the armor is thinnest. The effectiveness of this cannon was tested on American M48 and Soviet T-62 vehicles before even seeing combat. It turned out that at a distance of up to 1,200 meters, its shells can cause fire and detonate the ammunition in these tanks. In addition to the cannon, the old attack aircraft carried up to 16,000 pounds of mixed ammunition on eight underwing and three ventral pylon stations. These are AGM-65 Maverick rockets, 500-pound MK-82 bombs, and 2,000-pound MK-84 bombs. Excellent maneuverability was provided by two widely spaced engines mounted high on both sides of the rear fuselage, as well as a low-lying three-spar wing. The semi-monocoque fuselage, made up of aluminum alloys, contains four continuous power spars made of continuous sections and multiple identical frames. The fuselage is not destroyed when the two diametrically opposed spars and two skin panels adjacent to them are damaged. The primary measures taken that ensure the aircraft's survivability are the reservation of the cockpit and some units responsible for maintaining its combat effectiveness, the redundancy of some structural elements and equipment, the spacing of engines, and control wiring channels. One peculiar aspect of the aircraft is that the cabin inside is made of a rolled titanium armor up to 38 millimeters thick. The maximum speed that the A-10 can reach is 420 miles per hour. In doing so, it can rise to a height of 45,000 feet. The takeoff weight limit is 51,000 pounds, and its flight range up to 800 miles. The Cold War never developed into a hot one, and the USSR collapsed, unable to withstand the arms race. But the United States was in no hurry to retire the attack aircraft and found use in other conflicts that were not so large scale. The Warthog made its first sortie in 1991, when the Gulf War began. According to official figures, a total of 144 attack aircraft took part in this confrontation. They flew about 8,100 sorties, knocking out at least 1,000 Iraqi tanks, 2,000 other ground vehicles, two helicopters, and about 1,200 artillery pieces. During this period, the model's surprising vitality was revealed. While performing combat missions, the A-10s flew extremely low, so they were sometimes hit by opponents firing from the ground. But the Warhawks invariably returned to base even with severe wing damage. In total, out of the 144 vehicles involved in the Persian Gulf, only seven were actually shot down. A-10s were also used in Serbia, Afghanistan, and Iraq. Of these three wars, only one Thunderbolt II was shot down in Iraq. Another attack aircraft of this model, while in the same place, received damage to one of the two engines, hundreds of holes in the wing, plumage, and fuselage, and failure of the hydraulic system. Yet despite all these problems, it still remained in the air until it reached the airbase itself and then made a successful landing. In Iraq, one of the main drawbacks of the A-10 did show itself clearly when it was used on the battlefield 
the risk that U.S. and Allied ground forces would be exposed to friendly fire greatly increased. According to its purpose, this attack aircraft was supposed to destroy ground targets that were on the battlefield very close to the American infantry and equipment. In such a situation, not having at the time more advanced guidance and target recognition instruments, the Thunderbolt II caused damage to friendly formations on several occasions. It's worth noting that this was one of the key arguments of those who supported removing the Warthog from service. The A-10 attack aircraft in 2022, goals and results of modernization. The modification of the A-10C has become one of the largest model updates in recent decades. As part of this improvement, the attack aircraft received a new cockpit equipped with a modern instrument panel, as well as a laser designator. And after a discussion in 2014 regarding the decommissioning of the aircraft ended with a decision to instead extend its service, the A-10 equipment was supplemented with many other useful innovations. First of all, the already excellent survivability of the device was further increased. It was equipped with high-precision weapons capable of hitting targets from long distances. Taking into account the new technological capabilities of the Warthog, improved combat tactics have since been developed, based on which the attack aircraft can now more effectively execute combat missions in conditions where there is minimal support, operating at medium and low altitudes, at night, striking all kinds of ground targets with ARG-20 missiles. Additionally, the specialists working on the new modification attempted to minimize the likelihood of an attack aircraft unintentionally hitting friendly positions in future operations. Now the Thunderbolt II has more accurate guidance technologies, modern communication and positioning systems. During future sorties, forward air traffic controllers on the ground will transmit encrypted real-time data to the A-10 on the location of friendly troops to whom the attack aircraft provides air support. Back in 2017, the LARS V-12 Airborne Rescue System was installed on all Warthogs, thanks to which it became much easier for aircraft to coordinate their actions with personnel on the ground, whether they were rescue teams or pilots of downed vehicles evacuated by them. The attack aircraft's weapons arsenal has since become even more formidable too. Nowadays, it can unleash a deadly barrage of Hydra-70 missiles on the enemy, which, thanks to the integration of the AGR-20 APKWS system, have now become precision-guided munitions. With the help of a GPS-based JDAM kit, it was possible to make all-weather-corrected or so-called smart bombs out of previously free-falling bombs. It can also now be armed with guided precision bombs GBU-39 SDBs. Another important point in just one single flight over the enemy, the A-10 is able to accurately strike not one, but several targets at once, while simultaneously using weapons of different types. Aiming at objects is now carried out by pressing a single button, while previously this action required much more concentration and time. If the pilot, while aiming at targets, wishes to select the 500-pound GBU-38 bombs or the 2,000-pound GBU-31 bombs, then the onboard system will predict whether it will be possible to destroy all the added objects in one run, or if it will need to return to do another one. An improved Hobbit hybrid optical-based inertial tracker helmet-mounted sight has been added to the combat equipment used by Thunderbolt pilots. The device is an updated version of the Thales Vision X Scorpion, which has been used by the U.S. Air Force since 2013. The Hobbit reacts sensitively to the movements of the head, accurately reading changes in its position by ultra-modern optical sensors. The A-10C has new communication systems that ensure the rapid transmission of threat data between all attack aircraft participating in the sortie as part of one unified link. Hardware integration of anti-jamming GPS and ARC-210 radio stations is also carried out. An audio system with 3D sound is being introduced thanks to which radio messages are clearly separated from other sources of noise. What's more, the cabin is now equipped with HRDS, which is an 11.6-inch 1920x1080 multifunctional color display, capable of displaying a clear image with targeting and supporting a new mapping engine. Summing it all up, the A-10 attack aircraft has a rich history and for many Americans, it's one of the U.S. Armed Forces' symbols of power. This is why people really pushed for it to remain in service, rooting, as it were, for their favorite player in this competition. Thanks to the new upgrade, 
the Warthog will truly remain the most efficient machine on the planet in its class. If you enjoyed our video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. New videos coming soon, so stay tuned. We'll see you in the next one.